Hello everyone, Richard Evans here at Caliber Yacht Sales and today, well, look at this day, what a beautiful day and a great day to show you this beautiful Sea Ray 470 with all the bells and whistles. Uh, the first thing that you're going to notice about this boat is the very distinctive Sea Ray reverse cheer line. Just a beautiful boat, a boat that anybody could be proud to own. So follow me, let's go aboard and have a look at this beautiful boat. Now boarding this beautiful boat is so easy. Look, look at this wide swim grid. And by the way, this is a marine lift, a wonderful option. The way that works, it drops down into the water. It deploys your dinghy. And when it's in the water, it becomes like an artificial beach. So you can kind of sit there with a nice drink in your hand and uh, keep your feet in the water and just uh, enjoy, enjoy this whole lifestyle. But enough of that for now, I'll come back to the uh, dinghy. Uh, come on into the cockpit and just look at the size of this thing, will you? What a great place to entertain family and friends and you've got it all here. I mean, it's just wonderful, isn't it? You've got this great big settee and you've got this bar sink and the bar, you've got a grill, you've got a fridge below, just wonderful. This boat is perfect for entertaining. Um, but let's, let's go down and have a look at this fun dinghy here first. Uh, so we'll come back to the dinghy in a minute, but I want to share this with you. Everything about this boat is fun and comfort and relaxation. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is, this is just so cool. This opens up like so, and this becomes a whole lounge area so that if you uh, were anchored and just uh, wanted to look out at this beautiful vista, you know, prop up a couple of pillows here and you've got this, this wonderful, wonderful space. Isn't that cool? That is really, really nice. So Sea Ray. And of course they clip into place so that they don't fly open on their own. Now just over here, uh, we have uh, a hatch and inside your hatch is your controls for your marine lift. So you just press a button, this dinghy drops down into the water. You just push the dinghy off and you can raise the platform back up again. So also in here is your freshwater washdown. Nice feature to have when you're coming out of the, uh, the ocean after a refreshing swim. This is a beautiful Walker Bay dinghy. Uh, virtually new. Uh, he purchased it in 2021, both the dinghy and the Tohatsu uh, 30 horsepower outboard. Virtually new, like I say, in great, great condition. A lot of fun can be had with this here. So let's step to the cockpit and just look at the size of this cockpit, will you? Beautiful, beautiful layout for a cockpit, isn't it? Uh, this is a uh, designed with uh, entertaining in mind and just being very, very comfortable out here. Uh, right over here, we've got a bar sink and uh, in here, we've got a, an electric grill and down below, uh, we've got a bar fridge and it is full of beer. <laughs> All right, that's good beer in there too. I like it. All right, so just look at this uh, beautiful settee and look at the quality of the upholstery. I mean, this boat is, what, 12 years old, and it just looks in really, really good shape. And beautiful, beautiful teak table. And that table's in great shape. A big part of the reason for that is that uh, this uh, cockpit is fully enclosed. Now, we took the canvas down, so, yeah, you can get a better idea of what this boat is all about. But uh, uh, with it being fully enclosed, just protects everything in here. Just perfect for the Pacific Northwest. But uh, what, a, what a great place just to sit and relax, eh? And imagine your friends and your family around here and uh, salmon cooking on the grill and um, some cold beer coming your way as well. Beautiful boat. Now, we're going to go up here into the helm station. And as I pointed out before, uh, this whole space here uh, provides a, a unique space just for a separate group of people. So you could have a group of people down here in the cockpit, a group of people up here as well, and a group of people on the sun pad out front. Just a beautiful boat for entertaining on. Uh, speaking of spaces, notice that this is a, a double helm seat. It's always nice to have a second pair of eyes on the, uh, on the water. And a uh, great place to cuddle with your honey. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, one of the things that I really, really like about this boat, and you know I'm very big on rigid hardtops, especially for the Pacific Northwest. Well, this rigid hardtop is so beautiful and elegant, and notice how it seamlessly meshes with the uh, window with your uh, front windshield here. It's just a, a great, great way of uh, controlling the uh, environment in here, as well as letting in all this fresh air and uh, this natural sunlight. Now, now, now get this, uh, have a look at up here with the skylights. I just love this. Isn't that so amazing? They're independently controlled, both port and starboard. And you can open them up as much as you want and let in as much air as you like, or just having that natural sunlight coming through. And if that's not enough for you, uh, you can open up the windshield vents as well. Uh, notice this, uh, both independently operated port and starboard as well. Isn't that cool? Little play on words there. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, let me show you, let me just go through the uh, helm station here with you. Um, dual screen, and uh, like uh, any uh, Raymarine product, you can uh, set those screens up any way you want. Right now, we've got the uh, rear facing camera on the left screen, and on the right screen, we've got the chart set up, but you can set it up any way that you want. Uh, you got everything that you need here. Uh, your fusion control is right here for your uh, great sound system that this has. Your smart craft uh, system here that gives you everything that you need to know. How much fuel you're burning, how far you can go with the current amount of fuel that you have in the tank. Um, and uh, your oil pressure, your uh, heat, everything. Everything is there to do with your engines which is uh, right, right here at your fingertips. Uh, in addition to this, up above here, uh, you've got your analog gauges as well, if you just wanted to have a quick look. And uh, I'm kind of old school. I, I, I like having the analog gauges uh, available, but having your fuel burn here is always nice to know as well. Let's go through uh, what we have in the lower panel here. We've got your VHF here, uh, ramp with uh, um, your remote right here. And then uh, your skylight controls here that I just showed you, your defroster, and good to have a defroster here. Uh, notice your defroster vents up here. Um, it's good to have those for the Pacific Northwest, as well as the uh, two electrically operated vents, um, both port and starboard. Uh, you've got your wipers, um, as well as your windshield washer. Uh, it's good to have when you uh, to get the salt spray off. Uh, you've got your ignition right here and your autopilot just above that. Over here on the uh, starboard side, you've got your trim tabs, uh, your windlass operation, and uh, your fuel transfer from one tank to another, and uh, manually operated bilge pumps here as well. And uh, your switch for your electronics are right there as well. All right, so notice here too that uh, these electronic engine controls, which are just a dream to use, so easy, so easy to give you absolute mastery at docking. And um, and speaking of docking, um, the uh, these are Zeus drives, uh, which uh, are independent pods that uh, operate on their own. You can literally uh, look over your shoulder uh, like so, and using this joystick right here, you can look over there and point the boat over there and the computer on board will take you exactly where you want to go. And by the way, if uh, another boat is backing out into your space and you don't want to juggle while you're in the channel, you can just hit the skyhook and skyhook positioning will automatically keep your boat right perfectly still uh, while the uh, guy who's in your way gets out of your way and then you can release skyhook and head off onto your, uh, into your slip. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's just uh, all the all the toys on this boat, and uh, it's just uh, you're gonna have so much fun operating it. Everything that you need 
uh, right here at your fingertips. Now notice this uh, helm seat. This is this is a beautiful helm seat. Look, look how comfortable that that, you know, that that is, and look at the good quality of that. Yeah, it's in such great shape. And when you're sitting up here, you've got a a, a rest for your feet, um, and great visibility right from the bow forward. So good to have that for the Pacific Northwest with all the logs and whatnot that we have uh, have in the water here. But if you choose just to be standing, uh, these bolsters flip up, and now you've got a great backrest as well. Yeah, isn't that comfortable? Uh, notice right here, uh, your environmental control vents are right here, uh, both reverse air and air conditioning as well. For this space, there's three, three compressors, one for below, one for this space, and one for aft as well. Not nice, just everything that you need right here. And this great sound system, fusion sound system up here. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to love cranking the tunes and, uh, when you're underway. Let's go down below and see what's going on down there. So here in the uh, main salon in the uh, galley area, the first thing that's going to hit you is this beautiful cherry wood. Look at this high gloss cherry wood that's... Uh, really nicely polished and it looks like uh, when they cut this uh, cut this wood notice that all the grain they all cut it from the uh, same piece of uh, lumber uh, all the grains match up here so that's a uh, nice attention to detail that uh, just gives this board a little bit more class um, so starting over here um, we have the your 12 volt uh, panel uh, right next to that is the uh, AC panel, but we'll get to that. Uh, your ignitions are also here as well. And then just above that, uh, we have your microwave. It's just a good location because it's uh, your stove is located right there. A deep, nice deep uh, stainless steel sink and uh, stainless steel faucet with a vegetable washer. Yeah, a single, single control for your uh, uh, hot and cold water, which uh, just makes it nice and convenient. And this is clever. Uh, notice in behind here, well, we've got uh, paper towels stored in there, but in here and in here, uh, he's got his bar set up. So all of his liquor is in there. Uh, and you could store it in there as well if, uh, if uh, that's not going to be enough space for you. It's a big fridge for the, for the boat size. Uh, and uh, Lots of uh, lots of space in there, and then of course down below, uh, you have your freezer. Um, now down below, uh, let's start over here. Uh, right here, you've got uh, your cutlery, and below there, and there's a good assortment in there. And of course, uh, latches uh, have uh, push buttons to lock everything in place. All your cleaning supplies underneath the uh, sink which is uh, very good, and this is good, eh? You know, when you're working down here and you're underway, nice to have a grab handle right there. And it's nice and firm. Right here, uh, we've got uh, more storage. And uh, uh, down below there as well. Now this one's a little bit sticky, but that's only because there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, we got uh, paper plates and uh, other things as well. And then all of uh, your cups are stored right here. You know, having this mirror right here uh, just gives this whole space uh, a little bit more of a dimension, which is, uh, which is really nice. Well, uh, just above my head here is uh, the TV, uh, which is, uh, drops down electrically. Uh, over here, uh, we've got uh, your uh, skylight allows in lots of natural light, and then you've got your block out here as well. LED lighting through uh, through the whole boat, uh, which is uh, which is very nice. So the uh, the sole is uh, cherry wood, a very nice uh, custom carpet on top of that, just to give it uh, a nice warm feeling. All right, so over here on the starboard side, uh, first of all, uh, the first thing you're going to notice is. Uh, Aside from this beautiful cherry wood, is uh, this large settee, uh, comfortably seat uh, for adults, um, and uh, you could probably put five or six in there to, to get cozy. Up here, uh, behind this uh, locker, uh, you've got uh, 
your track vision controls um, as well as your uh, fusion entertainment system for, for the boat. And then just next to that uh, you have uh, storage and storage here as well as well as at the end. Uh, you've also got storage underneath each of these uh, cushions here as well. So lots of storage in the space here. And again, let me point out these beautiful uh, cherry wood blinds that uh, hide the uh, port light that looks out at the water. Very nice. Oh, before we uh, leave this space, look at the look at the beautiful gloss on that table. Very well finished. Really good quality. Uh, as you saw, I was uh, out there with uh, I'm out there with my coat on, um, but uh, down here it is really toasty warm, and that's just with uh, the reverse air. Uh, that works very very well. So um, you can extend your cruising season uh, well into the fall, even into the winter, if you if you so choose. So moving forward, um, we go into the master cabin, but before we do, I just want to point out this beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship that, uh, that you see here. Look at that high gloss and that's uh, solid cherry wood with a cherry wood panel in the center. Uh, and uh, very secure stainless steel handles. Um, for privacy when you're in the master cabin, you've got this beautiful, beautiful, almost looks uh, Asian, doesn't it? Uh, uh, against this cherry wood. Very, very elegant, very nice touch. And then to keep that in place, uh, there's a little strap here uh, just to hold that door in place uh, when you're underway. Now moving into uh, uh, this space, uh, again, like I pointed out earlier, you've got your shower on this side, and on this side is your head. And in here, in the master cabin, um, it's a good space. You've got a, a, a queen berth uh, with a hang-up locker on uh, both sides. Uh, the way they've got this configured is uh, uh, his locker is on the port side and hers is on the starboard side. Uh, we've got uh, a bank of uh, three cupboards uh, down each bulkhead and then um, a little uh, table here to, to uh, store your valuables like your wallet and rings and uh, other things of value, maybe your keys. Uh, we got uh, two port lights on each side and the port lights are hidden behind these uh, beautiful wooden cherry wood lines. Just above the bed of course is uh, your uh, overhead hatch with dual purpose and then with a screen on the other side. In here is uh, your heating controls, air conditioning and reverse air. And of course, just above that, you've got your uh, television with uh, remote control. A good, comfortable space, very nice. So um, two medium-sized drawers below, and you can store um, sheets and pillowcases and uh, other items that you would normally use in the, uh, in the master cabin. Now, I'm moving aft uh, into the VIP cabin. Uh, you've got a uh, head, a uh, combination head and shower. Um, and you've got a, a vanity sink just outside so that uh, you can uh, wash up uh, while uh, the head is being used. Uh, you've got loads of storage back here. Uh, you've got uh, a hang-up locker. Now, the uh, cabin here has a double bunk that runs uh, port to starboard and is uh, just underneath the cockpit but plenty of light in here to give you enough space and comfort to feel just really cozy. Uh, TV in here as well. Yeah so um, the boat is equipped with uh, track vision so satellite TV uh, which uh, locks onto your satellites uh, wherever you are. So you can be in a very remote location like up in 
desolation sound and uh, still get a TV signal so you can watch your, your football game or hockey or, uh, or your favorite series. So for a 47-foot boat, uh, this is quite a spacious galley salon area. And uh, uh, just by the nature and design of the boat, a lot of your time is going to be spent outside uh, in the uh, cockpit and in the helm station area. But uh, on those uh, stormy days, uh, you want to be down below. It's a great, comfortable space to do it in. And just uh, push a button and up she comes. See how easy that was? Just look at this engine room. Lots of space down there. Easy to get around and do your engine checks. And as you know, if you don't have ease of access to your engines, you're not going to do your engine checks. So this is part of the reason why this boat is in such good shape is that he took very, very good care of it. And look how clean it is down below. Uh, look at the uh, condition of those engines. This, uh, this owner has taken really, really good care. It does regular maintenance. The boat was just out for service for bottom painting and uh, everything mechanical is in very good shape. Now, uh, what you're looking at here are twin Cummins QSB 480s and it's no wonder we got up to 33 knots. One of the reasons that it has uh, such good performance in big seas is it is a deep V configuration combined with the 19 degree dead rise aft is why she runs so smoothly in rough weather. Well, there you go, folks. Everything that you want in a Sea Ray 470 Sun Dancer. Beautiful boat, wonderful performing boat, lots of power, it's easy to drive, easy to park, great for entertaining, and great to cruise with family and friends. Now, all you have to do is give us a call, and you'll be very glad you did.